to move him. So one of them had to climb to the window and get help. Um, so it can happen. You know, it can happen at any age. But um, uh, so I mean, for instance, I used to take cycle tours. Probably in, improbable now, but I used to take cycle tours to Scotland and Wales. And about two years ago, one of the boys emailed me and said, "Could they have a little reunion?" So six of them turned up, and of course they were all in their mid sixties. They were sixty-three or sixty-five or something. And I kept on saying to my wife, well, the boys say this, the boys say that. Because the last time I'd seen them, they were 15. And now they were nearly 50 years older. And, uh, and then I said, oh, how's John Bora? Oh, John Bora died when he was 35. 35, I said. And he left three children. And then we talked about this boy and that boy and that boy. And I said, oh, what about Roger Tomlinson? And, oh, he died when he was 45. And then you think, oh, yeah. Mm. Um, a big, you know, burly man, man, man kind of 15 year old. And Roger Tomlinson was a very uh, creative, artistic, musical, everything intellectual kind of boy. What is it that around. you plan to do in the future, uh, around the time you are 17 like we are now? What did I plan? Yes. Um, I, don't know. I think I was already working, I was a, a meteorological assistant. I liked meteorology. I, it had been a hobby of mine when I was a kid, you know, when I was even younger, um, and, uh, and so I planned that as a career. But it didn't work out because to get promotion I had to be a, a graduate. But I had to be a graduate working, studying part-time. And so I, thought I was doing what you would call maturity, so A-levels. So in Britain you can do A-levels at any age. I could decide to take A-level Russian next year if I like. Um, so it's not nothing like maturity, but it's our school leaving exam. And um, uh, I asked the lecturer, and she said, "Well, people doing it full time at school take two years, which I knew in any case. People taking it part time, if they're very good, take four years. And to be honest, you're not very good. It'll probably take you five or six. Mm -hmm. So that would have taken me to 28, because I was by that time 22. And then I said, and to graduate." Well, the fastest we've ever had a part-time person graduate is seven years. The fastest. And she said, and she looked at me a little bit oddly and said, maybe ten years or more for you. So I would have been 40 before I graduated. So I gave up and tried something else. Teaching.